Hey guys, what's up? It's Samantha, and this week I am using this gorgeous Scribble Prince Co. kit, City Chill, that was illustrated by my fave, Kittenish Girl Jess, and I actually just bought this. It just came in the mail because I did not have enough kits to do memory keeping because I have not been... I hadn't been memory keeping for so long. I pulled way back on the amount of kits I was buying. And now that I'm back to it, I realized I didn't buy winter kits to use for memory keeping. So this one came with a double tall box that I decided to use on the sidebar. And I'm going to take off those washi strips because it didn't work with the spacing with that box. I'm just not used to having a double tall box. I realized that. So I, I'm going to use a lot of undo. I had a lot of the dumb moments like facepalm where I'm like how do I even plan <laughs> I don't know this took me almost 45 minutes to do just the foundation I feel like I was just so off my game I was just struggling <laughs> really hard you'll see um but I really like how it turned out so I'm kind of all over the place but I did the deco first here um on top because I wanted to put down um, some foil deco and also put the foil month script on the top. Try doing that over deco. I really liked how that looked with the flag last week. So I wanted to try and see what it would look like doing it over deco, which it was fine, but I think I might try doing it with the flag next time. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I really, really love these colors. I was hoping that I'd be able to find a Simply Gilded washi that would match this, but these colors were surprisingly hard to match, like to get that really, it's like a really warm toned purple and that mauve pink. I, even though I have mauve stuff, most of it had gold or rose gold foil on it. Like anything that was close in color didn't have silver foil and I used silver foil with this, which like looks beautiful. I'm really glad I was using this kit this week because it snowed a ton. We've had a very mild winter this year. I live um, near Cleveland and for a Northeast Ohio winter, we've had almost no snow this whole year. It's been so bizarre. And then this week we finally got actual like real substantial snow, like not a ton, but like enough where it's, you have to be careful driving kind of snow. Um, so I, I don't know why I like focused on my tweezers there <laughs> instead of that. Um, I'm still, I still haven't figured out all the settings on this camera because I really haven't spent a ton of time playing around with it because I haven't been filming Plan With Me's even though I got this for my birthday. I've only filmed a few Plan With Me's since I've gotten this camera. But I used the Snowflake Sampler from Scribble Prince Co. for the deco and then I ended up cutting up the headers to use as deco on some of to augment like full box overlays on some of the boxes just to make it look like there was snow falling down. It worked out quite swell. So in the, this is, I put the month up there and what am I even, this is like such a hot mess. I like don't know what order I was doing anything in this. I really was just like forgot how I plan this week. It was so bizarre. I went to go do the like headers and I went to go pull out my ruler and I was like wait I feel like I don't normally do this when I'm filming memory keeping like how do I space these out normally and then I'm like oh yeah I use bougie boxes when I memory keep that's what I've been doing oops <laughs> and so I went and pulled out my bougie boxes I cut out some of my flailing around with a ruler for five minutes because nothing happened. So I, and then I, on Monday, I put down three bougie boxes because I realized, I forgot I hadn't put down my full box there. So I'm going to realize I screwed that up too in a minute and undo that. I'm pretty sure I used like way more undo in this spread than I've used in any spread ever. Um, for the bottom washi, I used the 15 millimeter washi strip that came, that like I bought extra and then put the silver solid bows from Scribble Prints Co. over that, and then did the dot confetti because I thought it looked like snowflakes over the bottom washi. And something I've been doing is I'll put the overlay on the full strip of washi, and then I'll grab my paper cutter um, and then cut, like line it up so it's at the bottom of wherever the washi is instead of measuring 15 millimeters out, which is what I was doing for a really long time. So I'm like, oh, I could just put the overlay down first and then cut at the bottom of the overlay. And 
it works out. It's way easier. So I don't use a slice tool with like a ruler. I use like a Fiskars. I have like one of those slide things where you put it in and you like slide the little roller thing and it has a little blade in it. Um, I have one that I've had for forever and a day and I just grab that out and use that every time I cut bottom washi. That's what I do. Um, so yeah, finally getting done with this hot mess thing. And then I forgot to do overlays and then I'm going to go back and do overlays. Um, I think I'm going to like wiggle it like I'm done with foil or something. And then I'm going to realize I didn't do all my overlays. So I did this let it snow quote box over there. And then I added some snowflake deco and I'm going to go in and add more from the cut up headers around little things. And I cut the corners from that snowflake box to put on that big one. And then I just put a ton of snowflakes falling down um, over that box just to add a little winter festive zhuzh. I don't know. I really was struggling so hard with like remembering how I plan. You would think I hadn't planned uh, in weeks and that I have not been actually doing these in a timely fashion. So I pulled in the dot boxes, like the dot overlays, and then also these bow outline overlays, which I feel like I should have switched and put the dots on the flat lays and the outline on the scenes, but I didn't want to try to undo that. After I put them down, I was like, oh, I should have switched that. And I was like, mm, nope, we're just going with this. And then I did the two dot ones there because it kind of looks like snow and added more of the cut up header snowflake things and scattered some around that box. And then I used the rose colored days snowflake headers from last year. I think I still have like four or five sheets of the silver. I bought a lot of silver. Um, so I used those. I just, they're so perfect. I love how the pattern is scattered for those headers. It's just perfection. And finally, this hot mess plan with me is almost ready to go to the day by day. So the first thing I wanted to do is mark on my sidebar that I was feeling good this week, have my energy back, feeling like myself, which is great. And then also I read all of the ARCs or advanced copies. I get a lot of advanced copies through NetGalley and Edelweiss. And also we get physical ARCs shipped to where I work. And I had a bunch that I needed to read and get caught up on. So that has been my life for the last couple of weeks and I read all of the arcs this week so it feels good to check things off my to-do list. So Monday morning I was super tired and then I arrived at work to find out that the power was out. There was some blown transformer and it was basically just our building but our building is like a whole city block. So our, it was freezing cold in the building because the power had been out all night and it wasn't even that cold but like sitting in a 50 degree building in the dark was not pleasant and I didn't dress anticipating work to be that cold. So the power was out. It was cold. I was very grumpy. We didn't open until way later in the day too. So we were just like sitting in the dark. I was not thrilled. Um, so I worked nine to five, even though we didn't open until like one thirty. And I, um, Monday night, Joe went and got Panera takeout for dinner for us because I was not about to cook. I was like over the day and then I read and I went to bed early because Monday just needed to be over. So Tuesday morning, um, I went and got Taco Bell breakfast on my way to work and I worked 8 to 3.30 because I had my therapy appointment at four o'clock. I'm doing weekly therapy again just while my energy is back to kind of, might have talked about this last week, just like coping skills for when I flare next so that I'm not a miserable person to be around, that sort of thing, you know, just dealing with the negativity. So um, then I did laundry when I came home from work or from therapy, I guess. And this is like when the weather started being really crappy this week. So it was like this was an appropriate snowy kit to use because it just snowed 
all day. It was kind of getting icy on my drive home, but I had some wine, I read, and then I went to bed early. I have been trying to be really good about honoring my body and giving it the sleep that it wants. Even though I have like all my energy back, I'm like, I still, I still need like eight hours of sleep to feel good. And I think I just was not used to getting sleep because I didn't sleep a lot before I got sick. So now that I'm like, used to getting sleep and knowing what that feels like to be well rested I'm like oh I don't want to go back I like get I like getting sleep (laughs) so um Wednesday was trash day and then I woke up I unloaded the dishwasher and then I just chilled out with my coffee and I read and then on my way to work I did a Panera pickup so I left my house like 15 minutes early and went because Panera is kind of like out of the way a little bit like I can get on the highway but it's like an exit north of where I normally get on the highway um have to like cut around back roads so I left a little bit early to go get my Panera pickup and then I worked 12 to 8 and I came home and there was an Amazon package because we ordered one of those like spongy rubbery mats to put our Peloton bike on that we got delivered this weekend and I had some wine And I watched YouTube. I did not read at all Wednesday night. I read at work, but I came home and just veg in front of YouTube. I feel like Peru's Project had a new video on Wednesday, something like that. And there were maybe uh, Books and La La or someone. There were like a couple of like good BookTube videos. I just watched YouTube and chilled out. I forgot I had these Wine Time stickers from Simply Watercolor Co. These foil like wine time stickers I think they were her collab with Holly plans um which like I feel like Holly kind of disappeared but yeah I forgot I had these um and they're real cute and I was like I should use them because this was all silver foil so um Thursday morning I was a sleepy panda I didn't stay up like terribly late Wednesday night but I'm always just tired on Thursday mornings because I don't get home until like 8 30 on Wednesday and by the time I eat and unwind and stuff even if I get into bed by 11 and I'm like up or 11 30 and I'm up at 7 45 it's still just I feel run down like I haven't had time to decompress you know it's like I go to work I come home I go to sleep and then I immediately get up and go to work again I don't know so I was a sleepy panda on Thursday and then I worked 9 to 5 30 to make up that half an hour for leaving a half an hour early on Tuesday for therapy and then I we had a Walmart grocery pickup scheduled and Joe did that pickup for me And I made a good dinner. It was one of the HelloFresh boxes. It was not related to anything that was purchased at Walmart. And then I watched YouTube. And then Joe and I just like hung out and like cuddled and snuggled in bed and just like talked because we hadn't really like spent any time together this week. And that was really nice. So Friday morning, I unloaded the dishwasher. And then there was so much snow. It snowed a ton Thursday into Friday. The roads were actually pretty slippery. Like someone spun out in front of me on the highway and like I'm really glad I left a lot of space between me and that other person because there could have been an accident. So I worked nine to five, but I had a meeting from nine to 10, 15 that I went to first. So I just drove there and it was like one of those meetings where I needed to like get all dressed up. Like I wore something way more professional and dressy than what I would normally wear to work because it's like all business professionals there. It's like a community engagement thing. So it has to do with like tech stuff, which like it ties in with what I've been doing with Girls Who Code, which is why I was going to try to use that laptop, but there wasn't enough space. So I just grabbed the little mini at symbol from the kit to mark the meeting. And then when I came home from work, there was the HelloFresh box covered in like three inches of snow. I had to put it on. I had to like go get a rag towel, like an old bath towel to put it down on because there was just snow all over the box um and then I poured some wine and I made French onion soup which was one of the recipes in HelloFresh but it just takes a while to caramelize onions but it was real fun and then Joe and I hung out and watched 10 things I hate about you which I hadn't watched in a while we like rarely sit down and just watch movies so that was really fun and then Saturday morning we slept in a little bit and Joe went and got Taco Bell breakfast, and then I just had like a chill morning. I read, I had my coffee, me time, chilled out, and then I did some like cleaning and tidying up. I cleaned like the bathrooms and stuff and picked stuff up around the house, and we had our Peloton delivery around like 2.30, but I had my nail appointment at 3, 
and I left at like 2.45 because I had to go to the bank and get money for tips. I got my nails done. The nail place was mm, slammed. <laughs> so I'm glad I got there early because I had to like fight to find my nail color and like go through the rings of nail colors with like the dip samples. There, I've never seen it so busy in my whole life. I was like, okay. Um, so then I made broccoli cheddar soup and I, this is like something I want to get back into cooking and baking because when I got sick, I kind of stopped cooking, like finding recipes and stuff. So I made the Panera broccoli cheddar copycat soup. It's a recipe I already had that I had made before and loved like years ago. So I made that and then Pillsbury Crescent Rolls and I was so full and so sleepy. I had one book I wanted to finish and I ended up going to bed at like nine o'clock last night because I was so tired. I was just like, I, I, I couldn't go to bed earlier than next. Otherwise I knew I'd be up at like three or four o'clock in the morning and I didn't want to deal with that. So this morning I actually woke up really early. I woke up a little after six. So I went to bed so early. And so I just had a really lazy morning. Like I laid in bed for an hour, hour and a half and was just on my phone, chilling out. I got up, I made some coffee. I read a little bit. I watched a little bit of YouTube. I just kind of like lazed around. And then I decided to make pumpkin pancakes, but I didn't have a pancake sticker. So I used a waffle sticker. So close enough. But I made pancakes and I used to make pancakes and waffles all the time. I love breakfast food and I sort of stopped. I mean, it actually kind of stopped cooking like outside of meal delivery boxes when we moved into this house because Joe started residency and he was on call all the time and he was working such crazy hours that I was like, I don't want to like make a recipe for just myself because then if I made a recipe, I'd have to eat it like 700 times <laughs> like by myself. I'd have to eat the whole thing because Joe was never home to eat meals. So I was making a lot of like you know, chicken nuggets and sweet potato fries or like a veggie burger or um, like pasta, like for just one person, that kind of thing. So I'm just putting down, while I'm telling this story about food, I'm just putting down foiled scripts. Since I didn't pull those out ahead of time, I just kind of went through. The only one I missed was my appointment one for therapy, which I added while I was filling stuff out. Um, but yeah, so cooking. Oh, I didn't even finish telling you what I did on Sunday. So anyways, I'm like trying to get back into cooking actual food because I stopped and then I got sick by the time Joe had a normal schedule again. That was when I got diagnosed with lupus. And so I never really got back into cooking the way I used to um, a few years ago. And so now that I have energy, I really want to get back into like cooking. So that's something that really brings me joy and I love doing it. So I made pumpkin pancakes for breakfast this morning. And now I also have pumpkin pancakes to reheat for the next few days for breakfast. Um, so I basically just spent today like cleaning. I did some laundry. It was a very productive day. And then I came up here to like pre-plan and pull all of my stickers for my plan with me, which the last couple of weeks I've used a lot of icons. So this time I had to like pull all the individual stickers and it took a while. And then I, um, so I filmed, I edited, and then when this is done, I am going to go pour myself a glass of wine and make something for dinner, and then I'm going to sit down and build some more of my Lego Millennium Falcon, because I haven't built Legos in a couple weeks, and I want to finish the step that I'm on, because there's just a pile of loose Legos sitting on my dining room table, and I'd like to reclaim that space, so I need to finish the step that I'm on, so that Joe and I aren't eating dinner, like, surrounded by a garden of loose Legos, <laughs> um, but yeah, I really love how this turned out, considering I feel like I edited it pretty well, so you guys can't tell like what a hot mess this video was, but I seriously putting down the foundation of this, the day by day wasn't a hot mess, but the foundation of this spread was a hot mess. And I am really pleased with how it ended up turning out. It is very pretty and I like this quite a lot. And I'm really glad I ordered this kit because I almost didn't. Like I had passed over this when it came out and it was new. I did not buy it. So I'm very glad I went back and saw this kit that I did not buy previously, and I bought it, and it's adorable. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!